Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the third lecture of um, medical biophysics course. It is about the pressure. Um, by the end of this lecture, you will have explained the concept of the pressure in the human body. You will understand how the systolic and diastolic work. And then we will describe some diseases related to the pressure, which is, uh, can we can say, skull and the eye, pressure in the skull and the eye. And you have one uh, type of a treatment using uh, related to the uh, pressure. Uh, our structure is divided by four uh, parts. The first part is about the, um, the pressure, the definition of the pressure. Then we will have the manometer, or we will talk about the physics behind the manometer. Then we will talk about the blood pressure, which is the sigmanometer, the device using to measure systolic and diastolic pressure. And then we will end up with the diagnosis and the treatment, which is understanding how the pressure will be affect, our, uh, well, how the effect of the pressure on our human body. The definition, the pressure is defined as the force per area, okay? But we have a different type of forces. We have a force per area in gas, force per area in gas or, or liquid. This is, we name it a pressure. While for solid, the same quantity force per area, where we will refer it as a stress, stress. So the difference between stress and pressure is just like the pressure is the force per area for the liquid and gases. While the for solid, the force per area will be as the stress. Okay. In the metric system, it is measured by uh, uh, by dyne per square centimeter or a newton per square meter. So this is the uh, two type of un newton units we will use them in terms of this lecture: dyne per centimeter square and the newton per meter square uh, or per square meter. And the SI unit we said is Pascal, but we will not try we will not write Pascal. We will using newton per meter square and dime per centimeter square instead. Okay, um, how can we measuring the pressure? We are measuring the pressure in terms of the height of the column of mercury. We name it height of the column of mercury. That means it just like if you have a pressure, okay, the height that you have it here, okay, that means this is the how to measuring the pressure. And the pressure under the column of liquid can be calculated by this, um, this um, formula, P equal rho GH. And P is the density of the liquid. A G is the acceleration of gravity or gravity acceleration. And H is the height of the column. Now from where get this one? Listen to me guys here. The pressure is the weight per area or the force per area as we said in the definition. The force is M times G. Okay, which is the over the area. The M time G is rho, the M is can be rho time V. Okay, the density is uh, like uh, the mass is equal rho time V. Rho is density, V is volume, G over A. And then V over A, V over A is height of the column or height. So it will be rho H time g or rho gh which is the equation appeared here for you all right it's just like uh, when we talk about the uh, like uh, the application of to the pascal law we should know there is a difference between the mercury and water we will use both of them in terms of the pressure for mercury the height of the column is less than the height of the column for the water by 13.6 or we can say a column of water has to be higher the column of mercury by 13.6 okay and then i will have a part i will explain this lecture uh, this uh, like equation in details in part two of this uh, lecture okay the pressure um, what is the relationship between the pressure and force as we said by using the definition the pressure is the force per area that's mean the force is a pressure time area Okay, we know that the pressure is rho gh. That means the force, instead of rho gh, I will put, instead of p, I will say rho gh. So f equal rho gh a. And the unit, it will be what? It will be a newton. The diagram here is show up that the pressure is equal rho gh. 
Okay, we should know how can we understand these things. First of all, the raw is the density of the material, as we said, the density of liquid. What type of liquid that we are using? We will use two types of liquid. We will use water and we will use mercury. For water, for water, we have, as we said, the, the raw is, the, is, is constant. For water, the, the raw is 1,000 kilogram per meter cubic, if we are using the this unit. If we are using gram per centimeter cubic, so a call one, all right? For mercury, it just like it will be 13.6 if you're using gram per centimeter cubic or using 13.6 times 10 to the power three kilogram per meter cubic. For G, the, uh, uh, for uh, the like uh, uh, gra gravity, acceleration gravity, it will be 9.81 meter per second square or 981 centimeter per second square. So you will choose if you have a water, you will use raw for water, but what, what type of unit you will use? You will use kilogram per meter cubic or gram per centimeter cubic, okay? If I, if you said I will use kilogram per meter cubic, then the G should be using meter per second square, okay? And H should be using by what? By meter, because H is, I, there is no numbers here because H is not constant. The G and rho is constant. So if you are using rho for water for kilogram per meter cubic, you will use G for meter per centimeter cubic, centimeter square, sorry, and H will be meter. If you are using rho for water for gram per centimeter cubic, what you will use for G? You will use centimeter per, cent per, 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 uh, per second square, and H will be what? Will be centimeter. The same idea, if you are using for mercury. If you are using kilogram per meter cubic, you will use G as meter per second square, you will use H as meter. If you are using 13.6 uh, um, times 10 to the power of three kilogram per meter cubic, you will use G for meter per second square, you will use H for the meter, okay? And this is how we will memorize these numbers and we memorize how can we use the, the, the typical units for our um like for our calculations uh and this is the end of part one and section one next one will be the part two section two thank you very much